Hey guys, so yeah, it's been a while. Thought I'd do a little video on uh, what I'm working on. Um, I can't really talk much about it because it's still kind of early in the process, but I'm doing a documentary and it's sort of requires some medieval type music. So I did a lot of research and I've actually written a lot in that style because I've been interested in it since uh, since college. So um, kind of basing this on like the Landini type 14th century sound, even though this is <clears throat> takes place sort of earlier on, I kind of push it ahead a few centuries. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to talk about uh, what I did and what instruments I used and uh, effects chains and things like that. So before we get into it, I'll just play the track and uh, and yeah, we'll talk about it. Um, I, I just thought that this would be something interesting because I don't see a lot of this on YouTube uh, doing this style of music. So I thought it'd be useful for people if you're ever asked to do something like this. So yeah, let's check out the track first and then we'll talk about it. Okay, so yeah, I'm really happy with how that turned out. So let's let's go into first. We'll talk about the instrumentation. I used a lot of stuff from the Era Library, um, which is a great uh, medieval type library. So we're gonna go through through some of that stuff, and I also used the Viola da Gamba from uh, Cine Samples. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the two libraries that I used. Let's go into, uh, we'll go through each instrument here, but the reverb I used was the Pro R. Um, now the Era has, let me open that up, has like a reverb in it. But um, it, it's very CPU intensive. So I tried to avoid that because I read some stuff online that it, it, it's a, it's really nice actually if you're using like one or two instances, but if you use more than that, it kind of uh, eats up the CPU. So I went with the, uh, um, with the uh, Pro R and I'm using uh, the Percussion Studio actually, because I like, it's like a medium space um, and you'll hear that on the, actually, let me show you that with the percussion so you can get an idea um, what the sound of it is. So we'll say for this like frame drum. Or let's do a boom back here. So it's a really nice sound, I think. So here's without it. Pretty dry. So it's a nice space because I almost wanted that like church type space. Um, so I was going for that type of sound. So yeah, let's go back to. Uh, 
Oh, and the other other thing I used was this diva bass here for the second part, just to reinforce that the drone of the um, hurdy gurdy. So I just wanted to give that bass reinforcement, and I don't think it takes away or it doesn't sound digital or anything. It just gives it that that bottom end sort of. But yeah, let's go back. So the first part, we have uh, the viola de gamba playing the bass part. So I had that, and um, this is the uh, fadul, which is like an early uh, uh, medieval violin, um, maybe actually 15th century. So I had so the basis of this was the two strings at the beginning, like those kind of. And I also du doubled it with the harp, which is, this is a medieval harp. So I doubled that, the top line with that, the um, soprano line. I just like that attack of that and, and layered like that, which was very common in medieval music to have, you know, a minimal amount of parts, but some layering. So in the third part, it's actually three parts, um, three part writing. The third part, I use a, re a recorder. So that's this. Uh, take this out so you can hear it. So here's the viola de gamba and the. So this recorder, it's a bass recorder, so it's pretty low, but it's actually more in the tenor range of. Um, um, so we have the viola da gamba doing the bass melody, and then you have, this is kind of the middle there, the middle voice of the arrangement, so. And then on the soprano, we have the, uh, the fiddle and the harp. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, As far as the writing goes, it's just modal. It's in the Dorian mode. Um, so it's, it's staying within that style, especially with the cadence. That's the thing is um, you want to make sure your cadences are staying within that medieval style. So the cadence doesn't have that leading tone all the time. It's just the, uh, the normal seventh, not the raised seventh. You know, I do a lot of those sequences here of the third descending thirds like this. I don't know if we solo this. Yeah. So that's the first part. The next part uh, we have where the percussion comes in. And I go to a six eight rhythm. So let's just uh, solo some of the percussion here. I'll show you that. Got the tambourine. The psaltery, that's, um, if you listen to that. It's like a drony type instrument. Um, that's, uh, yeah, it just creates a nice um, drone. Almost like a hammered dulcimer, but lower. But I'm going to leave that out for now. We're just going to talk about the uh, percussion. Let's check that out. So it's kind of, it's like a six, eight rhythm. And we have the lower, the tambourine and the uh, frame drum doing that sort of pulse.
right? So soon that dotted pulse there. So the main, the main component is this, and the uh, the high and low boom back. So that's like a like a doom back sort of. Um, so that was used in early music. So this music is more like um, the second part. The first part is like Landini-ish, but this second part is more um, like troubadour type music, um, like the, of the Crusades. So it's more of a sort of secular sound, which I was going for. So, so that's the percussion there. And I have this hurdy-gurdy doing this groove. Uh, it's just like a, a loop. It's in 6-8. And like I said, I doubled that with the diva. So just to give it that reinforcement there. And then we have the sultry. Kind of doubling this groove. Alright, so let's go to the uh, lead instruments here. So, what did I bring in? The crumb horn, which is one of my favorite instruments. It's a double reed, early double reed instrument. Similar to the sham. Um, it's like an oboe, sort of, but a medieval type oboe. So check that out. So it has that kind of raucous sound, so it's really good for something like this. This sort of um, more up kind of thing. So we're still within the same mode right here, right? But what's different now is actually there's a B flat um, sometimes. So that's, it depends on the situation as far as like a, um, that's more complicated to get into now, but it has to do with you. Sometimes you don't want to outline the augmented um, fourth there. So you, you, add a flat so it's just more like it's like a color tone but and that's just for the B section so it repeat it repeats this A section twice okay so then we go to this B section So that's where we bring in that B flat. So it's a nice kind of uh, sort of a, a shift there, I think. Now I had a medieval flute in there, but I took that out. But so what we're left with is the recorders are just doubling that, but the recorders are in octaves. So a tenor and alto. I think it just kind of fattens it up and, and adds a nice uh, color to it. Kind of, It kind of softens that sound a little with the recorders. Let's, let's did some little tambourine stuff there especially in the beginning we have that roll in the tambourine it's kind of nice so yeah it's pretty straightforward there's not a lot happening but I think it, it really achieved I think I achieved that sound so I just wanted to share that with everyone and if yeah if you have any questions uh, let me know and, we, and I'll be happy to talk about it I'm trying to think is there's any other processing not really. I pretty much use everything as it is. Um, did I do any EQ? Oh yeah, EQ'd. Looks like the viola de gamba added some bass to it, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, like some uh, you know lower low mid bass to it. Um, looks like 150. Try to bring that um, that D out for this drone part here. Right, so that's doing the drone as well. I didn't mention that, but 
so that the diva bass the sultry and the um hurdy gurdy are doing this drone in this part so yeah i like that i like the way that drone sounds there all right so that was a pretty short video but hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah any questions let me know just wanted to do something because i know it's been like probably like a month or so since i last posted so um just wanted you guys to know that i'm still doing stuff and yeah i'm kind of busy with this but just wanted to share this little thing with you all right hope everyone's good and uh we'll see you on the next one thanks bye <laughs>